Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stella and I'm a YouTuber based in Abuja, Nigeria. I make videos on hair, makeup, finance and sometimes cooking. Well, I hope you enjoy what you see and I hope you subscribe. Thank you. So as you're sewing, try and make sure you sew the hairs really close to themselves. Like the gap from one line to the next line should be as close as possible. So just in case you get to a point where the lines are not even, you can try and even them up at the center like I'm doing so at the moment. Because as you can see, one part is kind of down. So I'm trying to level it up to be on the same level with the sides of the recap.
coming to the closure part, I'm going to make sure my sewing is in a circular direction. Like I will keep sewing in circles. And just like the back, even more importantly than the back, especially if, you know, one is doing this closing method for a different hairstyle. The hairs should be sewn really close to themselves, like really, really close to themselves. It's really, really important. At the end of everything, you're going to see why it's important that the hairs are sewn really close to themselves. So, like I said earlier, I'm going to make sure I sew in circles. So, because I wanted my closing points to be by the side, I made a cut halfway. Like you guys can see, I am, you know, cutting my hand. <laughs> Is that correct? Oh my goodness, that's a Nigerian thing. Um, that's, that's to Nigeria. Here, yeah, cutting my hand. <laughs> I shall cut something halfway. Uh -huh. And I still continued in the circular. Um, movement if I wanted my closing point to be at the center I wouldn't have cut anything yes if you get what I'm trying to say I wouldn't have cut anything I would have just kept on going and then my closing points have ended up at the center So now I have completely sewn everywhere. Like there's no space for me to sew anymore again on the recap. So I'm just going to cut off what is left of the hair. But I'll make sure I leave a little. I won't just cut off everything completely. Like I'll leave a little length, really little length. So this little length of hair I left, I'm going to fold it and then pass the needle through the weft. Now at this point, everything I'm going to be doing is going to be done through the weft. Once I've secured my needle through the weft, I will go down some steps below and then I will come back up again. Now, like I mentioned earlier, my going down, I'll make sure the needle is passing through the weft. My coming back up, I'll make sure the needle is passing through the weft as well. Now, as I'm going down, I would drag the thread um, tight but not so tight that it will squeeze the wig cap, just tight enough to make sure this weft is being pulled in. Because the idea here is to see that the weft is hidden, becomes invisible, you get. So I will do this going down like four to five times and, and I will do them at different points like, so the sewing doesn't concentrate on one part and so that the weft is really, really thoroughly, thoroughly hidden. Then after I feel I've hidden the um, weft to my satisfaction like i have the clothing i want i'll then finish up somewhere at the back and tie up my thread
so i'm not going to go back and fill up the space i left out after i made that cut in the turn and just like the other side i'm equally going to maintain a circular um direction in my sewing So this is why I said for any hairstyle or wig style that this closure method is being used for, the hairs should be sewn as close to themselves as possible. As you can see, I'm combing to different directions, yet, you know, it's looking really covered. There is nothing, you're not seeing anything beneath the hairs. And here is my closure point, guys. If I'm going to use the word perfect, it's near perfect, like it's hidden, like we wanted, and it's well closed yes i know this is not the style for today's tutorial but i felt why not i might as well kill um two beds or even three beds in this case with one stone so here is a style you can make out of the weave on you can see it's a vintage look and that's why i decided to use a red lipstick although i've been feeling red lipsticks of late these days but you know the red lipstick really goes with this kind of vintage hair now you can equally finger comb the hair to make the curls fuller and have this second style so at this point we're going to go ahead and trim you know we're going to go in for the tutorial of for the tutorial proper now when it comes to um trimming what i'm just going to say is um this start from the back you know and don't be too quick to trim because hair that has been cut off can't be glued back so you know be really careful like imagine if you cut off a place how the hair is going to look you know don't just be so fast to cut and when using this kind of um trimming comb there are two sides to the comb there's a part with the longer tooth the part with the longer tooth actually trims the hair you know to make the hair scanty it doesn't trim so much it just it just gives the hair that scanty look while the other part to the shorter comb cuts like clipper like it, it just shaves any area you use it on so you know be really mindful start from the back and gradually go up to the front and don't be too much in a haste to cut off any hair <laughs> 